You're listening to the BBM Global Network with 25 years in broadcast audio and video production. Our passionate team creates content and marketing for the world of Internet talk radio. If you've got a passion, come join us at BBMGlobalNetwork.com. The BBM Global Network. Your voice is now heard. Are you looking to heal yourself? Would you like to know and expand your gifts? Not sure what your purpose is on this planet? Carolee and Julia are here with the answers. A Call to Heal provides information and energy to make great change in your life. So let's welcome those two powerful energy movers, Julia and Carolee. Hello and welcome to A Call to Heal. I'm your host, Julia Stubbe. And hello, everyone. I'm your host, Carolee Schloth, and you are tuned into the BBM Global Network, iHeart, and TuneIn Radio. And each week, Carolee and I cannot express enough how grateful we are and appreciate each and every one of you, whether you're calling in or just listening live or you listen to the recording. You make the show. So thanks again for participating and supporting us and we will be taking calls from those of you who would like for us to facilitate a healing for you so please give us a call at 866-451-1451 so carolee what do you got going i think you have a retreat coming up you have a retreat in november um to colorado breckenridge it's about really expanding your intuition and psychic ability so if you're interested in that, you can go to my website, com and check it out. How about you, Julia? What do you have going on? Yeah, I have a couple tele-sessions. One's on ancestral healing through addiction, and the other is um, is a chakra restoration where we work with the Divine Mother and the Divine Father. I have that going on, and I also have a group transformation um, that will really amp up your spiritual path. That starts the end of the month, and you can find all that information on those events at juliastubi.com. Sounds great, and I'm really excited about tonight because we are welcoming our guest, which is Reverend Laura Jackson Liu, and she is a international best-selling author as well as a national speaker who speaks about co-creating infinite possibilities, about ancient prophecies, metaphysics, the evolution of consciousness, and earth changes. And I've been lucky to actually hear Laura speak, and she's a powerful speaker, and we'd like to bring her on tonight to do our guided imagery. Are you there, Laura? I am here. Good evening. Good evening and welcome. Thanks for being here. Julia and I are both grateful. And so we're going to go into that meditation. And just before we start, we do want to remind our listeners that if they're not in a safe place, if they're driving, um, to not really participate, to keep their eyes open, okay? Definitely. Thank you for that. So if everyone would just become aware of your body and right now going down your legs, out your feet, all the way down, all the way down to the iron core crystal, the very center of Mother Earth. Wrap around and bring up those beautiful connected energies of nurturing and providing and all the things that Mother Earth provides. Just bring that energy all the way back up, all of her layers. And now in the bottom of your feet, up your legs, up your body and out your crown and go all the way up, Father Sky, heaven, source, whatever you call that, and just connect with that high energy and just bring that all the way down into your crown. And now we're going to do that a few times. Keep that energy moving all the way back down, out your feet, all the way down to the iron core crystal of Mother Earth, connecting with that and bringing that energy back up. So you're going to feel that expansion and that light now, that fluid light, divine light running through your body all the way up again, out your crown to source, bringing that energy back down. And so now you are completely connected, completely connected with Mother Earth, Father Sky, 
the earth and the heavens. And now as you bring your awareness to your heart, I want you to go deep within your heart to this beautiful space, this molecule of peace. And you've probably seen the peace sign. And I want you to begin to feel what that vibration feels like within your heart. Because we're going to take that right now and we're going to expand that peace as we continue to feel that energy flowing, that divine source energy and grounding of Mother Earth. And you're going to expand that peace molecule, that peace vibration into every cell in your body. So feel if you could literally see the molecular structure, or maybe just that peace sign, begin to feel that expand. You just feel that calming and that deepening and that expansion in every cell. And we could just do it instantly in every chakra in your body, feeling that peace expand in your root chakra, your sacral, your solar plexus, your heart, your throat, your third eye, and your crown. And now every minor chakra in your body, just feeling that penetrate every cell, every space within your body that's now lit up with white light, with divine light, and with that beautiful vibration of peace. That there's nothing else in this very moment that exists within you but that peace vibration. You let your day go, and you just continue to expand that. Now take that energy and the vibration and expand it out into your field. You have many etheric layers, so we're just going to take that out. And how about filling up that Merkaba, your energy field? And then maybe connecting that piece all the way down to Mother Earth, who's really providing a lot of that piece. The piece is always there. We just expanded that state. And bringing that up and expanding it all the way to the heavens. That really, this is a beautiful flow that you can step into at any moment. It's already here. Just remember that it's already running and flowing. That that piece is a choice that you can allow anything else in your life to just be. And you can choose that piece. Allow other people to be having the experience and the learning and the journey that they are. And you can choose one of peace because it's really how you respond to other things happening around you. So feel that deepening, and as we go through this hour tonight, just feel that continued expansion and anchoring in, because all you have to do is say yes. You can just say yes right now to yourself or out loud. Say, yes, I choose peace. I am peace. I beacon peace. I model peace. Remembering we're all human and we have moments and it doesn't take away from that. And so just keep feeling that beautiful expansion and you can bring your awareness back into this moment while you maintain that unbelievable connected space of divine love and peace and joy is part of that as well. And how magnificent a being you are. Just breathe that in. Thank you so much. <sighs> Laura, that was beautiful. I feel, I just, your your voice is just so soothing and the energy that you, you put out there is just so loving. So thank you so much for that. I really, uh, I can't say enough about how I feel because it's like I feel really, I feel peaceful and I feel in, and just really calm. So it's really nice. So thank you. You're so. Welcome. So do you want to tell our listeners a little bit about yourself and what you do? Sure. And, and I you know, want to thank you both. I'm so honored to be here with you and so joy filled. And I, you know, we remember some things that happen in our lives. And I remember well when I met um, both of you, I think, and I was giving a talk at Edgar Casey's ARE Association for Research and Enlightenment. And so over 10 years now, I've been speaking for, you know, much longer than that, but I've been presenting monthly and their daily lecture series and speaking on a lot of topics as you know carolee shared earlier um and one of those is peace and not only in the are but really out um in the world certainly in the nation and i facilitate a monthly peace circle group so that's part of you know every month we used to meet uh in person once a month for about eight years and now the last few years 
uh, created a global conference call the first Monday night of every month. So just expanding that out. So that's what I have been doing, really studying, uh, researching, future visioning, personal intuiting on, uh, on a lot of topics. And I've, you know, it's recently kind of shifting focus, but that's what I've been doing. It sounds like you are really busy, Laura. That's beautiful. Really getting it out there for everyone to, you know, hear and know all these changes that are happening around the world. Um, why don't you tell us a little bit about the new paradigm? Can you share more about that work? Absolutely. You know, of all the things that I, I do, well, first and foremost, it, it's helping I hope, you know, I intend awakening people and to let every single individual know how amazing, magnificent, perfect, and whole they are. And so one of the, really the topic that I love to share on is what I call the new paradigm. And for some people, all that is, is like the structure that we're operating in and how that's transforming into a whole new era on the planet. We've heard about it. A lot of different ancient prophecies, the Mayan calendar, you know, this new time, new era, new way of being. And what I really, after studying, researching, and really being part of what I call a new paradigm business, I literally not only was participated, but helped create and vision uh, and anchor in what that looks like. So my really what I've come to, and I, I've, it's finally, you know, sometimes it takes years, our time, not divine timing, but I finally come to, and I've already been doing some of this work, is helping CEOs of nonprofits and NGOs, non-governmental organizations, to really look at what's no longer working in business and, and how to adapt to the future. And it's just a, it's a huge win, 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 win. And it's one of the things I talk about is bringing all the talent to the table. So instead of plugging people into a job description that's saying where your divine and innate gifts, what would you love to do? Where's your passion? And much more collaborative process. So it's a lot of pieces, but you know, again, I've actually um, worked with and helped create this model. And it's and it's simple, um, but it's really about opening up and allowing people to come together and step forward in what they choose and they love. And the, I mean, the results are just exponentially greater than than what you have now, really. So I'm going to give you a question because I always like to know this. So, Laura, what makes your heart sing? <laughs> Besides music, I've been a musician for 45 years, so I'll say mu flute music. I have flutes from around the world. Um, it's really watching, it, it, you know, for years, and I've, I've done a lot of, you know, let's say pro bono work. When I give talks and when I present to people, it's watching somebody light up. It's, it's, it's hearing somebody, you know, come up afterwards and say, you know, I knew pieces of that, but you really helped that make sense. I mean, you really helped that make sense and watching people wake up and get that little twinkle in their eye. It, it, there's just nothing greater to me. Yeah, I can, I can relate to that. Cause it's like, I love when I can touch somebody's life and you can just see, oh, and you can just see the shift and how it's like, it just opens the reality to something you know, that they didn't think they could do themselves before. Yes. Yes. So do you want to tell our listeners yeah. how they can connect with you? Um, uh Absolutely. And I, you know, I, I'm amidst a, an incredible <laughs> rebranding, but I'm really setting everything up so that it's just my name. Um, I was just married um, two years ago. So it's Laura Jackson Lou. That's my website, Laura Jackson Lou, L O O dot com. Um, my YouTube channel will be up shortly. Uh, let me see. Facebook, Laura Jackson Lou, and speaker, Laura Jackson Lou, um, Twitter, all these things I'm getting. Come follow me on Instagram now. I've just set that up. So I'm, I'm getting with the 21st century. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's good. There's a lot of ways that we can locate you out there, and that's wonderful. Yeah, so, Laura, we really want to thank you for coming on tonight and for letting our listeners have that beautiful meditation and all the information that they can go and find from you. We are extremely grateful for that. And so we're going to go to a short commercial break, and after the break we're going to come back and have our first caller. And I'm your host, Carol Lee, with Julia, and we are here on A Call to Heal on the BBN Global Network, I Heart and TuneIn Radio. And we're here to facilitate a healing with you, so please call in at 866 
451-1451. Stay tuned. We'll be right back. According to the American Nurses Association, there are approximately 3.5 to 4 million nurses in the United States. So where do all these nurses work? What kind of roles do they have? What kind of education and training help to prepare them for so many different settings? What kind of impact do nurses have on patient outcomes? The World Health Organization has announced that 2020 will be the year of the nurse, honoring the 200th birth anniversary of Florence Nightingale. An international initiative called Nursing Now is underway to raise the profile of nursing. The National Academy of Medicine has convened a committee to create the future of nursing 2020 to 2030 that will focus on how the nursing profession can create a culture of health, reduce health disparities, and improve the health and well-being of the U.S. population. Learn more and join Joyce Batchelor on All About Nursing Wednesdays from 7 to 8 p.m. Central Standard Time on the BBM Global Network. French Rastafarian baker Chef Oug Mat is a fourth-generation baker and has worked in 11 countries across three continents. Born in Mulhouse, France, he began apprenticing in his father's bakery at age 12 and has devoted his life to learning cultures of the world from inside kitchens across the globe. He also teaches traditional French baking by hosting demonstrations in classes, and his passion for baking is reflected in his delicious confections. With a deep respect for discipline and his Rastafarian way of life, Chef Ouvmat exemplifies commitment to tradition and culture in a global world. Traveling extensively and combining a myriad of flavors into his recipes, Chef Ouvmat brings a unique approach to baking. To read more about the French Rastafarian baker, visit www.frenchchefoub.com. That's H-U-G-U-E-S. Bon appétit and bless up. Welcome back, everyone. You are listening to A Call to Heal with Julia and Carol Lee on the BBM Global Network, iHeart, and TuneIn Radio. And before the break, we had a beautiful meditation on peace with Reverend Laura Jackson Liu. And I can't, I'm just really grateful for that. But now we have our first caller, Al. I believe this is Al's our first caller. Al, are you there? Yes, I am. Al, could you let our listeners know where you're calling from and what Carol Lee and I can do to, f- to assist you with this evening? Jeez, um... Sure. Well, from Ben Salem, <laughs> Pennsylvania, just on the outskirts of Philadelphia. Okay. Uh, I'm a quadriplegic. I broke my neck playing football nearly 40 years ago. And um, I've basically been in bed for the last few years with uh, chronic skin breakdowns. And um, then my wife informed me after 25 years that she's burned out. And she doesn't want to deal with it. And I completely understand. I'm not angry with her. I can tell you that. I mean, I'm hurt. I'm human. Um, I'm just in a, really trying to put myself in a better place than where I've been because I just had some bad cards handed to me, and I'm facing surgery on the 14th for a colostomy. And uh, yeah, I'm, <laughs> who'd, have, who'd have thought I went from the, uh, the epitome of health to a health case, all in one in, all in one injury. So I hope that uh, you know. I, I mean, when she opened up with the meditation. My dog was barking. Thank God I put it on mute. It would have would have been very upset with me. And uh, well, well, we, well uh, so no, we, we that's okay. Just so you know, so you can relax about that because we mute our callers during when we're on there. So you're you wouldn't yeah. have it wouldn't have worried about anything. Okay, so Carolee, well, what are you seeing? Oh, good. But I got him to calm down, and I caught the meditation just perfect, and it was so appropriate for the moment because now he's just laying next to me because he wants my chicken nuggets that he's not going to have. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm just guided to run the violet light through all your energy fields. We're just going to run this light. It's a tra- it's a light of transformation and clearing, and it's just going to help soothe you. We're just going to let that run through all your energy fields and down to the center of every cell, into the nucleus of all the cells of your body. We're going to let this energy run. And while that's running, we're going to have a beautiful column of light around you, a golden diamond column of light that's just going to work like a vacuum, lifting off all energies that aren't serving you. And again, while that's happening, we're going to ask that all your energies feel aligned, that they come into balance, that they fully align, integrate, balance, and stabilize. Okay, and then my consciousness is being brought to your hip area and the digestive system, the solar plexus area. 
And the color is usually yellow, and I'm seeing it as a lot of brown. So we're going to flood with this divine yellow light to help bring that back into balance. Wow, that's amazing. You feeling it? Yeah, that you knew that. Oh, we just <laughs> Welcome to our world. <laughs> yeah, just, we just we yeah. connect with your higher self, and your higher self gives us the information. So we're just wow. I'm sorry. I, I'm just I'm just overwhelmed. I that you just said that, and it's like I have to explain this when I go to get to the right doctor twenty times. And these people are professionals, supposedly. Okay. So what? Uh, I apologize. So we're flooding that we're we're flooding that area. We're also going to just run um, a beautiful golden. Um, well, actually, we're going to bring in what I call the flower of life disco ball into the, your intestines, and that's going to spin and illuminate to see what else we can see there. And as what I would like to do is just run that beautiful golden. And it's a combination of the golden and violet flame right through your intestinal area, which is going to clear off any lower density energies through that intestinal tract. Carly, I'm seeing like little thumbtacks in there. So we're just going to take, um, and that's just the way we see energy, Al. So what we're going to take is we're going to take a little, uh, we're going to take what I call the etherical shop vac, and we're going to suck those thumbtacks out, if that's okay with you. In your, yeah, please go forward. So I would assume that that causes you some pain in your intestinal area as well. Is that true? Because that's what the thumbtacks would represent, as far as to me would go. So, um, I don't feel my stomach, or okay. like from the chest down. So it would be difficult. Okay. But ironically, okay. I feel throughout my back. Okay, so let's just run that. Okay, so we're going to run that beautiful golden light, violet golden light up your spine as well. And any any kind of burrs, like little thumbtacks or burrs, we're going to remove them there too. So we're, again, we're bringing that shop back, that ethereal shop back in, and we're just going to suck those thumbtacks out. You seeing anything else there, Carly? I'm seeing that he's all surrounded by rabbits. So I was looking it up, and the energy that's hitting me is vulnerability. Um, so we're going to run with that energy of bringing that into balance and balancing it with power. We're just going to flood with the energies of divine power. And then I'm seeing the left side like raised higher. I mean, the right side raised higher than the left side. Um, so we're going to ask that this come. Pardon me. It, it, it literally is, literally. Yeah, I'm seeing that. A scoliosis, and it makes yeah. my right my right scapula like about two inches higher, and it's bone on bone, and it hurts like you can't imagine. I can't believe you said yeah. that. Well, that's what they're telling me to look at with you. So we're looking at um, this right side, and so we're going to ask for balance and soothing energy. And a really powerful, um, give me the word, Julie, it's not soothing, like as though like a bomb went in there to yeah, a, a, make yeah, it a, not painful. I yeah, so soothing. it's like a beautiful jelly bomb that will give you relief. Yeah. Bringing all that energy into that whole area there. There. And again, keep flooding with divine power. So we, what, what your higher self wants you to know is that you're not powerless, that we live in a mental world, a mental reality, and all our power, a lot of our power is through our thought, and your thoughts are um, something that you can have um, control over. And so this is an area that you might seriously want to begin to study and explore because it can powerfully change your life. Okay? I do. I need to get we have to learn more about that, please. Okay. It's so you create your own reality. So your thoughts and your and your patterns. You, so if you think that you know you're you're sad and you're fearful or you feel powerless and you think about that, 
and you get in that loop, you create more of that, you attract more of that energy. So when you're feeling that way, you have you want to switch your affirmation to is I am a divinely powerful. I have control. And and take it and put the positive on and, and change your thought patterns, because then once you change your thought patterns, you'll attract more of that energy into your life. Does that make sense? Total sense, yes. Okay. And if you need books and stuff about that, you can email Julia or I at our websites, and we'll send you lists of books that will help you with that, okay? Uh, much appreciated. Yeah, 95% of our consciousness is unconscious, and we run our world through our unconscious, and so we can send you information to help you become aware of those unconscious parts. Okay, so back to the body now. So when I look at his upper shoulders and back, I do see wings, but they're um, crumbled. It's if we crumbled like tinfoil. Okay, so are you ready to spread your wings? Yes. Okay. So we're going to go in there, Julie and I, with energy and begin to unwrap these and to allow them to come into their full livelihood and full force. And so, of course, these are energetic. They're in other bodies, um, but they allow you to soar and to be able to hmm, do things in this reality that you think you can't do, but you can do. Okay? So we're just going to leave them at that. It's a gift. It's reawakening inside you. Okay. You gonna say something, or you want me? Yeah, yeah. So what I'm getting is uh, the reason that this is happening in your life, that this has happened, is that you have ties to past lives, and you have cords tied to past lives, where you were either in the same situation and you really didn't learn learn from it because there was a lot of bitterness. So we want to change that pattern of bitterness and release any programs or patterns related to those past lives where this was held. Does that make sense? Yeah. Uh, I uh, actually said, okay. what did I do in my past life to deserve this? And I was only joking. And uh, But there are some irony to what you said to, to that comment. Right. That's right. So there's saying. lessons to that because there's, cause there's, there's bitterness that's been carried through. But there's also a time where that you didn't have compassion for someone who's in your situation now. So that that's that's the twofold of it. So what we want to do is we just want to send to those lifetimes, and I'm getting 13, 14, 14 lifetimes where it's affecting this lifetime. We're just going to send divine forgiveness and compassion to those lifetimes, releasing any vows, contracts, hexes, curses, anything of similar origin from those lifetimes and any future lifetimes where this pattern was there, letting all that go, and allowing that to shift through you, activating the DNA, releasing any. How's that feeling now, Al? It's wonderful. Thank you. Okay. So, Carol, you see anything else? Being brought to his hands. And so, um, Al, you have healing hands. Are you aware of this? Well, my fingers don't work, but my hands do. If that yeah, well, you, it's really um, everything that Julia and I are talking about, most of it's in other bodies that you can't see. So even though your physical body um, might not have sensation in certain parts, all of your energy fields do. And so as we learn to tap into the energy of those energy fields, we can we can move energy and you don't even have to do anything. So your hands, when I say they're healing hands, means that energy can run through your hands in a really powerful free flowing way. And so you might want to start becoming aware of your hands. And even if you can't move them, um, but if you can, that's great. You can um, still have the energy flow and the energy can flow through your body and through your hands. So we're just making you aware of that. And we're just clearing energy from the hands right now. There was these like kind of metal gloves on them. So we're just releasing those metal gloves. And really, they're not really metal gloves. Metal gloves. It's just how Julia and I see things to look at a way to release the energy. It's just meaning that the energy is really heavily clogged there. Wow. But the gloves also give us a clue. Like, it's too hard to do things with metal gloves on, right? 
Absolutely. So if we take these metal gloves off, it's easier in your life to do things. So there we go. Okay, so we are so grateful to you for calling in, um, but we have to close the session out now, so thank you. And thank you. Julie and I will be taking a short commercial break, and then after that break, we will take our next caller. And I'm your host, Carolee, with Julia, and we're here on a call to heal on the BBM Global Network, iHeart, and TuneIn Radio. And stay tuned. We'll be right back. Mike Zorick, a three-time California state champion in Greco-Roman wrestling at 114 pounds. Mike, blind since birth, was born in Hartford, Connecticut. He was a six-time national placer, including two seconds, two-thirds, and two-fourths. He also won the Veterans Folk Style Wrestling twice at 152 pounds. In all these tournaments, he was the only blind competitor. Nancy Zorick, a creative spirit, whose talents have taken her to the stage and into galleries and exhibitions in several states. Her father, a commercial artist who shared his instruments with his daughter and helped her fine-tune her natural abilities, influenced her decision to follow in his footsteps. Ms. Zorick has enjoyed a fruitful career doing what she loves. Listen Saturday mornings at 12 Eastern for The Nancy and Mike Show for heartwarming stories and interesting talk on the BBM Global Network. Dr. R.C. will share extraordinary resources and services that promote educational success as well as making a difference in the lives of all social workers as well as the lives of children, adolescents, and teens of today. She will have open discussions addressing many of the issues that we face about our youth and how being employed in the uniquely skilled profession of social work for over 18 years has taught invaluable lessons through her personal experiences. She will also provide real-life facts, examples, and personal stories that will confirm that why serving as a child advocate is extremely beneficial when addressing the needs of the whole child. Listen live Saturdays, 10 a.m. Eastern on the BBM Global Network and tune in radio as Dr. R.C. will provide thought-provoking information that will empower, encourage, and strengthen students, families, and communities across our nation. You can also visit her at soarwithkatie.com. Welcome back, everyone. You are listening to A Call to Heal with Julia and Cara Lee on the BBM Global Network, iHeart, and TuneIn Radio. And before the break, we facilitated a healing with Al, and that was just really wonderful. And now we have our next caller. We have Lynn on the line. Lynn, are you there? Yes. Would you mind telling our listeners where you're calling from and how Cara Lee and I can assist you this evening? Sure. I'm calling from Florida. And I am on the Treasure Coast here, and I am calling in because I've been having um, digestion, but basically high blood pressure type headaches. So it's like a pressure in the head that just kind of hovers, um, been working through layers. And I was wondering if there's anything that um, could assist that I don't know about with the digestion and digesting life, and just taking care of myself with letting go of um, worrying about other people around me. All right, so I'm just being drawn to go into the navel and then actually travel back to when you were in the um, the womb. So we're just going to, what we're asking to do is just to bring in education when you're in the womb, that you don't have to be all to everyone. Does that make sense? Yes. Because you came, you brought that in, you brought that programming in, from other lifetimes. So you're ready to let that go. Yes. Yeah. Okay, so we're just going to release that and any vows, contracts, hexes, curses, anything of similar origin that's tied to that thought. And then allow you to come through the out of the womb, through the birth canal, into your human body, into the woman you are now, letting all that go and shift. How's that feeling? Calming. Okay. So go ahead, Carolee. I'm just going to I'm just going to help integrate this a little bit longer. Okay. So Lynn, I'm seeing a basket and um, so you know, did you ever hear the saying like don't put all, you know, apples in your basket, all one thing in your basket, right? And I'm mm-hmm. like 
what is that? And it wasn't, it wasn't that. There's a hole in the basket, and you keep putting things in the basket, and they fall out this hole. Like, not everything, because think of a full basket, and then you're walking along, and just some things are falling out. And so while Julia was doing that, I was asking your higher self, well, what does this mean? What is that? And it's almost like you do all this hard work, but then something's kind of just lost. Does this resonate with you? Do you know what this is? Uh, very much so. Okay. All right. So you ready to fix this basket? Yes, please. Yeah. So the basket is your lower chakras, chakras one, two, and three. Okay. But we're going to look mm -hmm. at it like a basket. Okay. So I want you to pretend that you're sitting on a beach. Just imagine yourself sitting on a beach and no one's there. It's a beautiful beach and the temperature's perfect, like 70 something. If so you're not hot or cold, there's just a light breeze. Have sunglasses on. You're just sitting there, admiring the ocean, listening to the birds, and you have this beautiful basket in front of you, and it has a hole in it. But you have new reeds, and you are a basket weaver. You've always been a basket weaver. You've been a beautiful basket weaver in other lifetimes, and so you're taking apart that part of the basket that's not working. You're just unbraiding it and letting it go, and you're picking up these new reeds, and you're weaving a really strong bottom to this basket. Okay, and this is going to correlate with these three lower chakras, particularly the root chakra. Okay, and I just want you to be holding that basket and seeing how solid it is. And then just let it float into your energy field. Okay, and we're just going to again bring our consciousness to this third chakra where your digestion is. But it's telling me that the programming that was in that design of the missing part of the basket um, was really coming from the root and then running up into the digestive system. Um, and that chakra is where we have our power. And so there was this leak of power, okay? So that is being healed and closed now just because you're aware of it and you're choosing to do that. And so we're just going to flood these lower chakras with their colors of red, orange, and yellow and bring them all into balance. And there's a little tiny bit of energy where you're saying it can't be that simple. And I say to you, but it can, because it's really all just energy. So we're just letting that all do its thing. The next vision that I'm seeing is all these little tiny clams at the ocean. Like when you were little, do you remember digging for little tiny clams in the sand? Mm. Yeah. Do you? Yeah. Well, and it was fun. Maybe not clams, but yeah. <laughs> yeah, but you know how you dug and there was all little fun things in the sand. So yeah. Um, yeah. It's all about having that fun again, bringing that fun back into the, your life, that big creative fun from when we were little. So are you ready to begin to allow that to come back? Yes. Yeah, it's joy. It's joy in just doing simple things. And so we're really looking at this second chakra now as it expands out. And these chakras are being rewoven. The energy within them are being rewoven. So you're going to feel different. Okay. Okay, Julia. Okay, so what I'm seeing is we want to bring that mental body into balance because the mental body is, it's got a lot of rips and tears. It's like, it's like it's fragmented. Does that make sense? Like sometimes it, you just feel like mentally you're in pieces. Does that make sense? Yes. Okay. So let's just bring let's bring all your bodies into alignment first. Bring the physical into alignment with all your chakras. Now that emotional body. And now the mental body. And what we're going to do is we're going to bring it like this cooling bomb through your mental body and it's going to soothe all those rips and tears, sealing them and healing them. Bring that fully aligned with the other bodies. All right, there we go. And now your spiritual body is aligning them. How's that feeling now? Uh, like strong in the inner core of the spine, my neck. Yeah, that was a huge. That was a huge shift. That mental body. So. We're going to do one more thing with the mental body because we did, we soothed it, but now we're going to bring in a, um, a calming bomb. 
So it's a beautiful turquoise, and it's got some swirls of lavender and teal through it. So that's just going to soothe your mental bodies. So, you know, we've, we've healed it. We've closed all those rips and tears and sealed that. But now this is just going to soothe that mental body. So it brings that calmness to your thought patterns as well. Okay, and while that's happening, we're going to release the false programming that you carry of I am unworthy. Um, this is subconscious. You, you know, our schools, our religions, all kinds of things teach us that we're not worthy. Um, but I'm seeing a lot of, um, call it implanting in that mental body with this. So are you ready to let this go? Yes. Okay, we're going to release all vows and contracts and anything of similar origin intent that locked all this into place taking out the old programming that I am not worthy, replacing it with I am worthy. I am worthy. Okay, that is done. I'm still seeing her hand though on like a book with the other hand up taking a vow. Okay. It's not related to this, it's related to something else. Um, I'm seeing like chains across the heart chakra, um, crisscrossing. Um, so let's let the chains go. You. Well, let's bring in. The, let's let the chains go and bring the flower of life disco ball in. So you ready to let the chains go around your heart? Because we're gonna we want to see what yeah. this book's all about. And we're gonna bring okay, the flower cool. of life disco ball in to illuminate, to bring in education, so we can understand what these these vows, these agreements are. Okay, so, all right, so it's, do you um, feel, what no, go, go ahead, ahead. <laughs> no, go ahead, well, is there times where you feel like you don't fully give yourself or you're not fully appreciated um, with, with matters of the heart? Uh, yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll say that, probably I keep that inside. Yeah, that's what I'm seeing. So it's like, so you you you've promised from what I, the information I'm getting is you promised to never allow yourself to be that vulnerable again. Oh yeah, I made a big vow. <laughs> yeah, I did. I was so I was so hurt. Yep, yep. So that that that's not only from this lifetime, but it's from previous lifetimes that you've carried it over and over again. Mm. So, are you ready to let that shift? definitely okay so that's that book and in that book it's like it's like it's like the pages go on forever and ever so are you ready to drop that in the fire or let it dissolve in the ocean where do you want to yeah. let that book go to uh the fire okay so let's burn that do you see anything about the heart there to carolee that ties in with that I just there's such the sadness throat. yeah yeah there's such sadness yeah, it's running up into the throat and it's almost parallel to this as other vows and related to um how do i say this like taking a vow to be under a king taking a vow to be under a priest taking these vows where others um dictate to us how we behave that's kind of what a way to say it do you understand mm -hmm. what i'm saying here yeah. Okay. So these are old. These are not, you know, these are past life vows. And they're they're along with these vows of betrayal um, that Julia's talking about. So we're going to ask that these also be released. And I'm seeing them as scrolls. That's showing me that they're way older. So I just want you to see, like, piles of scrolls, and you're just going to light them up. You have a beautiful torch there. Just light them up and let them all go. And now you're in your own divine sovereignty. And you only have to listen to your heart. All you have to listen to is just listen to your heart. Okay? Yeah. You're not under anyone. You're free. That's a lot of energy. It just moved through us. Thank you for that. Wow. Oh, I'm seeing you. butterflies now. So we see transformation. Then Joy's going to have to do a reboot on you because that is a big, giant energetic shift. And that will also help your body bring... Oh, say so. Just like a computer in your ahead, recycle please. bin, we're going to empty the trash, run your defrag, clearing any residual of the programs. 
and rebooting 7, 14, 21, 28, 35, 42, 49, 56, recalibrating your DNA. How's that feeling, Lynn? Uh, it's, so, it's tingling up my neck to my head. It really, feels really good. Good, and that'll help with some of the headache energy because sometimes our headaches are really all coming from energy that's blocked. So, good. All right, well, on that note, we want to thank you so much, Lynn, for calling in and sharing that healing with all of us. It was really fun and powerful. And we're going to go to a short commercial break, and then after that break, we'll take our third caller. And I'm your host, Carolee with Julia, and we are here on A Call to Heal. We're on the BBM Global Network, iHeart, and TuneIn Radio. Stay tuned. We'll be right back. If you're a person caring for someone living with dementia, then this program is for you. It's designed for families and friends coping with the challenges of caregiving. The foundation of care, Susan Kohler believes, is communication. Innovative Dementia Care with Susan Kohler provides strategies to keep the lines of communication open between you and your loved one, increase quality interactions, decrease the burden of daily care for you, the caregiver. Join Susan, 11 a.m. Eastern, on the BBM Global Network. Susan and her guests will share techniques so you can facilitate your loved one's ability to safely follow your instructions, participate in daily activities, and express daily wants and desires. To learn positive solutions, creative ideas, and practical strategies that will build a healthy foundation of care. Attorney Renee Marie Smith is changing the way we sell real estate. She wrote a series of books called My Short Sale Guru Guides for all real estate practitioners. Whether you're a homeowner wanting to understand the process, an agent who has been handling short sales for years, or an industry analyst wanting to know how short sales impact your business, Renee uses her vast real estate experience to take a comprehensive look at the recent market phenomena while relaying it in an easy-to-understand format. Through her company, Smith Title Services, Renee has counseled thousands of short sale participants and processed in excess of a thousand short sales. Her knowledge is transformational for real estate professionals and laymen alike, and her live presentations provide people the opportunity to ask specific questions about their issues. Buy her books and schedule her to speak at your next event. Visit www.smithtitleservices.com or call 305-705-3428 or email her at renee at smithtitleservices.com. Isn't it time to sell your property today? Learn the My Short Sale Guru way. Welcome back, everyone. You are listening to A Call to Heal with Carolee and Julia on the BBM Global Network, iHeart, and TuneIn Radio. So before the break, we facilitated healing for Lynn, and now we have Lauren on the phone, and Lauren's from Pennsylvania. So, Lauren, would you tell her, let us know how Carolee and I can um, assist you this evening? Yeah. Oh, thanks. You guys have helped me so much, and I'm here on a farm with lots of animals. And I've been working a lot with the horses, and you did a, a healing for me about two months ago, and I've gotten much closer to my horses, so thank you so much. And we do training of some younger special needs horses that have been passed around by other people, and it takes a little, you know, courage, and, and uh, sometimes we're undoing things that the horses have had done to them or, you know, um, problems that they've had. And it's sometimes because we're getting on them and working with such big animals, it can be challenging. So um, I, I've gotten on this one who's actually quite magical and wonderful, but she's tall. And um, I have somebody helping me a lot with... Uh, not feeling afraid when I'm up on her back, but I still struggle with, it feels like I'm up so high and sometimes they'll spook and they'll like, you know, move around and stuff. I'm I'm just afraid of falling off. And okay. So I mean, it's a reality thing too, but that's okay. I get it. So it's a, it's a fear of losing control and not being in control. Does that make sense? Because yeah. you don't know what, yeah, because you don't know what the horse is going to do. So, you know, and, yeah. He, and yeah, so let's, so when you're, so it's about um, trusting, 
trusting the horse and having that connection. So would you want to open that connection up between you and the horse? What's the horse's name or is there more than one? Um, well, there's seven, but, but okay. the one well, we'll just... is so tall. Okay, um, well, which one's that? So let's work with that one first. Yeah, her name is Violet. Okay. So what I, we're going to do is we're going to open that heart-to-heart connection with you and Violet. Mm-hmm. And just fill that with divine love between the two of you. And we're going to bring in the energy of divine safety for both of you. Because what Mm. is the connection, Lauren, is what's happening is because of your fear. She's picking that fear up. She picks that fear up and that's why she gets skittish. So it's like a it's like this loop that you're caught in. So we want to we want to take that loop out. Yeah, I mean, it, it just, there's something about when I get up high, I feel like I'm like 20 feet up. And I even took a tape measure. <laughs> it's, it, you know, it's it's high, but it's not that high. So, it's high because it's mirroring a past life where you fell off a really big horse. Cut. Oh, no. And so what happens is as you get on this horse and all the things that Julia just talked about, you know, control and power and so forth, it's amplified because of this past life where you fell off the horse and you were um, you were killed. Yeah, I saw that too, Carol. So that's in the cell. So you're ready to let that out of your cellular memory and get yeah. it out of yeah. this effect that it's having. Okay, yeah, so definitely. we're going to look at that emotional body there. And Julius is going into your Akashic records. And yeah, so we do this, we're beginning to help you integrate that. Mm-hmm. It's all just energy. Okay. And you're not going to have hurt yourself in this lifetime. Okay. Mm-hmm. And we're just seeing these two um, energies blending now. And there's a calmness around the heart. And the horse is like, thank God. <laughs> She's gentle. Yes, yes. And we're very connected. On the ground, I have such wonderful, you know, moments with her. But when I get up on her back, it changes. It's like, oh. Yeah. Yeah. And she really yeah. senses that. So that's why that's why she gets that nervousness because she picks that up. So you have to be really aware of that. So what I'm getting is, Lauren, is sing yourself a little song when you're up there, even if it's just in your head. Yep. Oh, yes, I, I've done that, and it does help, but, yeah, even do it more. <laughs> yeah, because yeah, so, that's what they're showing me, cause, what she, or she's showing me, because she's like, well, when she sings, she's better. So it's like, so. <laughs> yeah, and you don't have to react anymore because the past lives are blended. So mm. it's, it's, it's neutralized. Okay. Mm. You can now enjoy it and reframe it. Well, you can sit up there and be like, wow, look at how yeah. high we are. We can see everything up here. And know that you're one with the horse. Yeah. Mm. <laughs> oh, Mama. Beautiful. Around your ankles, you have, um, they look like bells. It looks like jewelry from the Middle East. Mm. And um, it's a cool thing, but it's also not a cool thing, okay? So we're going to let it go. <laughs> so sometimes um, it's just showing me that connected to horses and you know how horses don't like certain sounds or don't like Mm -hmm. movement in a certain way it can make them jump so it has to do with that it has to do with another life and we're just going to release them from the ankles we don't really have to know anything else it's just going to be letting Mm -hmm. it go it was almost like a show routine or something that you did with horses back then but it's now in the way so we're going to let this all go and clear this energy and give thanks for it Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's beautiful. See anything else there, Joy? Well, I see um, little briars stuck between her toes. Like, you know, when you, does that make sense? Mm-hmm. It's like, so do you have like issues with like with your feet hurting sometimes? No, no, I don't. All right. Well, these little briars are like little irritants. So just trying to see what it means then. 
It's like you walk through a briar patch and they got stuck like in between your toes. So, yeah. So what do you see? Can you, all right. Well, let's just release them. Mm-hmm. <laughs> just like, yeah, let's like, release them. I mean, they're Unless, all coming in with big things in their manes and tails, you know, because it's that time of year. So you well, might this be picking is like, up yeah, on, but oh, maybe I'm picking up on the horses. Okay? <laughs> maybe I'm too oh. really connected there. That could be too. But let's just release them regardless. Yeah. Away they go. <laughs> and let's just bring a beautiful, soothing. It's a blue, um, royal blue bomb with um, orange sherbet swirls. I don't know where that's coming from, but we're just mm. going to. We're just going to cover you in that. Ooh. Something to do with treats, because Ooh. the horse kept telling me that it likes treats, but it didn't seem appropriate to say it then. So <laughs> you throw it in there. Oh, that's so funny. <laughs> so, do. so I mean, you, I don't know, maybe you like a couple pieces of oranges. You might want to try that, see if that, because I know usually you give them carrots and apples, but maybe he would like some, she would like some orange. Uh-huh. Sure. <laughs> Hmm. Okay, just bringing the body into balance after all that movement of energy. Hmm. Being a rose at the heart chakra, so we're just going to ask that energy to expand. It's just love. All that love Hmm. you have for the horses. Hmm. There, that's soothing. Okay. Well, we're going to thank you there, Laura, for that fun, Lauren. Okay. Thank, thank you for that fun. Much. Sorry there. Yeah, I'm, thank I'm so you grateful so that you called in. Okay. Thanks for joining us tonight. And so, Julia yeah. and I want to thank all our callers. We want to thank Al, Lynn, and Lauren for calling in. And we want to thank our guest, Laura, for doing the meditation and joining us tonight. We are really grateful. And so for more information about Julia and I, you can go to our website at caroleeshlope.com and juliastubi.com. And thank you for turning in to the, tuning in to the BBM Global Network, iHeart and TuneIn Radio and listening to A Call to Heal tonight. Remember, you are the radiant one. Stay heart-centered and connected to Earth and your infinite awareness. Good night. Good night. You've been listening to A Call to Heal with your hosts, Carolee and Julia. Join us each week and be the best you can be on the next episode of Carolee and Julia's A Call to Heal. You've been listening to the BBM Global Network. The ideas, views, and opinions of this broadcast are those of the participants of the program and are not necessarily the ideas, views, and opinions of the BBM Global Network Company.